All right, guys, what is up? Good morning, Need for Speed Unbound. We're about to dive into this article. It's a little bit of a lengthy video, but stick through it. There's a lot of information in this article. A lot of good, some bad, still no gameplay. Uh, make sure you guys smash like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. Whoa, 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 whoa. They haven't even officially announced it yet. Uh, so we got Under the Hood. It is Friday, 10.05 a.m. Welcome to Lakeshore Online. Finally, we've been waiting for this, boys. We've been waiting, man. They hit us with a soundtrack. Wasn't good enough. Whew. Anyway, welcome to Lakeshore Online, the multiplayer world of Need for Speed Unbound. In this week's Under the Hood article, we'll share details of what you can expect from online multiplayer in Lakeshore at launch. So buckle up. Let's ride, brother. We got, uh, ooh, we got a lot of information. Ooh, All right, let's get into it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Getting started. To jump into the online experience, select Lakeshore Online from the main menu. Lakeshore Online is a separate and unique experience from the campaign mode with progression specific to multiplayer. Don't worry, you won't be starting empty-handed. Certain milestones that complete in the story campaign will unlock awards in Lakeshore Online so you're not starting from scratch. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. In the Lakeshore Online garage, you'll need to create your online character and select a starter card to get you going. You can tune your ride before joining a server and gather your party at the same time. You will be guaranteed to get into the same server together and ready to race if you match make to a server wherein everyone is ready. Okay, good. Because if you remember, like, it was like every hour if you played online, you get kicked and you have to like refine your friends and all that stuff. Um, party leader controls matchmaking for the whole party. Selecting play will give you the option to find game, which starts your matchmaking into the server. Once you're in the server, you'll be presented with the Lakeshore City map to choose where to exit. Or you can stay in the garage and dive further into customization. Rides is where you can purchase, customize, and upgrade your cars. Hi, Katie. <laughs> um, rides is where you can purchase, customize, upgrade your cars, and character is for driver customization and personalization. Get steezy, there's that word again. Banners are unique to Lakeshore Online as they give you another aspect of self-expression. Focus on how you represent yourself to other online racers. We got Katie Bourne, we got Katie Bourne. All right, so we got a photo here. Let's open it in a new tab. Um, what do we got here, what do we got here? This is a freaking Z that they showed. Still got the small wheels in the front. Which, again, leads me to believe that that is uh, some kind of a glitch. Katie, can you? Can <laughs> it's got to be a glitch, right? We've seen so many fitment issues. Um, Lakeshore spin. You got trophy. I wonder. I don't. Burnout in the back. I don't know if you can actually change this stuff. I highly doubt you can customize your garage. But anyway, the banner. Here's what they're talking about on the left. I don't know if you can pick. Obviously, you can. there's going to be different ones. Okay, anyway, what we got? You've seen the Under the Hood Show Up and Show Off article, right? Yeah, we've, we've, we've made videos on them all, man. So we're not going to dive back into car and driver customization. However, in Lakeshore Online, your banner is a representation of you and your ride to other racers in Lakeshore Online. If you want to impress them, make sure you've given some TLC to your car and your driver before updating your banner. Whoa, whoa. So hold on. Can we do photo mode? get photos of our car and then uh, make our banner from a photo. That would be pretty sick, actually. I hope that's a thing. To customize your banner and make it pop, you can choose your art, stickers, and audio. Audio on banner? Mm. Uh, art customizes the frame around your banner with numerous styles and colors to choose from. You can add a sticker to your banner via the stickers menu and audio. Well, that's for those of you that got to be extra. Stand out when you win a playlist with some extra oomph by adding audio to your banner. Okay. So I'm assuming we select the photo. There's probably presets, but we can select our photo and then we can add stuff to it. Um, say cheese. It's time to take a pic of you with your ride using your selected pose. You can frame up the shot just the way you want, adjust the driving effects, and time it just right to get the full effect. Have fun with it. It's your calling card. Make it stand out. Anytime you hit a garage to update your ride or your driver, swing by the banner customization menu and update it there to keep it fresh. I like that. I'm about that. Like, especially for online, that kind of adds, it just adds a cool amount of flair, you know? I like that. All right. All right. So far, so good. Free roam. Lakeshore City is your playground. Do we want to look at this image? I feel like we want to look at this image. We got freaking Oscar with his P3 
pizza. Um, the Mustang's fitment is fixed. 9-11. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Lakeshore City is your playground, so go play. Free roam is just that. Roaming free through the city of Lakeshore. From Kennedy Drive to Edgewater. North Oaks to Lakeshore Quarry. Explore the world Need for Speed Unbound with up to 15 other racers on the server. Within Free Room, you can complete activities like Drift Zones, Speed Runs, Speed Traps, and Jumps, grab collectibles, or head to meetups to participate in playlists or events. You can repair your ride at gas stations or dip into a safe house to upgrade and or customize your car or driver or buy, sell some rides. Remember, you got to pay the cost to be the boss. So, is it is it only going to be nighttime online? Because if you can go to your safe house to upgrade or customize, you come out. Obviously, obviously, it's not going to be like single player where you go in. If it's daytime, you go in. You come out. It's nighttime. You go in. Then it's daytime again. All right. Uh, meetups. Meetups in Lakeshore online are where you get set up to prove your skills and show off your machine. Entering an online meetup provides you with multiple race playlists in which to compete with different tiers of cars required. I hope they have a good amount of races. Because if it's going to be like the same couple of races over and over and over, it's going to get stale real quick. And you know what I mean. Trust me, you know what I mean, boys. Especially like the one in, uh, in heat in the, the abandoned raceway or whatever that just went around like NASCAR to grind money. Everybody just did that. Nobody wanted to do anything else. That's all you would get invites for. Uh, entering an online meetup provides you with multiple race playlists in which to compete with different tiers of cards required. Some are single tier race playlists, meaning only one tier of cards required. Some are mixed tiered race playlists, so one race may need a tier 8 car while another need a tier S plus car. You'll want to build up a stable of rides with different tunings and tiers to guarantee you can compete in every online playlist. So that's a good thing, uh, especially online because say the rsr is op again and it's an s plus you do a playlist and say you know obviously you'll do playlists obviously for s plus you'll have to deal with it if it is op but then you can do other tiers like a and b and it'll be normal cars that are you know not op that are a little less powerful and then you can actually have fun online races i like it i like it you can always use a loaner car that's like wearing someone else's a loaner car. That's no completely up to you. Or you can be a collector of fine racing machines for each of the race playlists. You'll see multiple events such as street races, speed races, and corner King races, just like the race types in the campaign found at meetups. Okay. Hold on street races, speed races, and corner King races. What the hell is a corner King? Huh? Just like the race. Okay. Once you roll up to a meetup and initiate a race playlist, you can invite everyone on the server. First come, first served. You snooze, you lose. Or you can just invite members of your party. Up to seven other racers can join the race playlist. Once the first race in the race playlist starts, you are in it to win it, brother. Don't back down. Win the race playlist to get the biggest payout. And the more races in a race playlist, the more money there is to win and bank. You can receive invites to a race playlist anytime in free room. If you're in your garage, you'll see the invite and can join from there. As long as you're not too busy customizing your ride or checking out some threads for your driver. All right. So we got street races, speed races, and corner king races. Interesting. I wonder what corner king is going to be. That's, I don't know how that would work. Uh, let's party. Grab three friends and tear up the roads in Lakeshore City with Need for Speed Unbound party system. You can create a party before jumping into Lakeshore City by inviting up to three friends, or you can invite friends to join you in-game via the multiplayer party menu. Note, if the server is full, they won't be able to join your party if they're not on the same server. Best option would be to back out to the Lakeshore Online menu and form your party and ensure all on the same server. Want to roll together? Party members can match make together on the same server. Communication is key. Chat with other party members using in-game VoIP. Want to keep it between friends? You can invite just your party to a race playlist for some direct competition without randos messing up your flow. Okay. All right. Uh, details, details, details. Let's talk details about Lakeshore Online. Okay. I feel like we might know some of this already. Lakeshore Online supports up to 16 players per server. We know that. Race players can be played up to eight human players. We know this. Parties can be formed without the four players per party. We know this. There is no pause in Lakeshore Online. You can bring up the menu, but the game will continue. Well, that makes sense. It's usually how it always is. 
Race playlists require two or more players to kick off. That's not bad, actually. I wonder if they throw AI in there. When first booting up, you'll be prompted to enable crossplay. Later on, if you prefer to race with only your platform, you will need to disable crossplay in the game settings of the main menu before going to League. Okay, so you can actually turn off crossplay if you want. You can play, say you're a PS5 boy like me. You can just race other PS5 brothers, you know? Or you can go crossplay and pay, play PC and Xbox as well. That's pretty cool. That's, you know, I ain't mad about it. The more you race, and win the more XP you earn. It's the icon in the top right corner of the screen between your car tier and your bank. Check out the rank-based challenges. They have the biggest payouts. Rank-based challenges. Okay, so it seems like as you rank up, hopefully it's not capped at like 50. Hopefully like it's something like the crew where it's like in the thousands and you just keep leveling up and uh, you know you unlock stuff as you go. That'd be pretty cool. At launch, Lakeshore Online Free Roam is set to daytime and does not change whoa 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 however races in the meetups race plays will have variable weather and time of day okay I, eh, mm, I don't know how i feel about that it's set to daytime and does not change i mean everybody knows when you go to these street racing things i mean yeah okay when we had r33 and the z we would go to meet cars and coffee it'd be in the morning it'd be daytime but like it's street racing I feel like the vibe just fits at nighttime. Um, so having free roam in only the daytime and having only races be at nighttime and then you come back and it's daylight, I mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Let me know how you guys feel, but I feel like that's kind of dookie. Because um, I'm pretty sure in heat you could choose, right? But this you can't choose. There are no pink slip bets or side bets in Lakeshore Online at launch. At launch, pink slap, pink slap. Give me that pink slap, bets boy. I'll slap that pink slip out of your car. And take it out of your hand. Take your car. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. A lot of people were hoping pink slips would come back. Um, but again, you got cheaters online and stuff. So I mean, maybe being on PS5 is a good thing then for for pink slips because I'm pretty sure like you know most of the cheaters. I'm pretty sure all the cheaters are PC because you know that's where they do it. So. That could be good for turning the cross play off and winning. We might do a thing on the channel where, like, channel members who uh, subscribe and pay to the channel get, like, access to, like, do pink slip battles with me and stuff. Build cars. Hey, you got you want to win it? You want a shot at winning this car? Race me, brother. We could do some cool things, man. We can do some really cool things with that. Okay. So no pink slip bets or side bets at launch but they will add it and i think side bets is cool maybe they can do a thing where we can actually watch races and like bet on people Shit. cops will not be in lakeshore online at launch what takeovers are not present in lakeshore online at launch. why okay hold hold up cops will not be in lakeshore online at launch. that's the best part getting in heat and, and a full lobby and everybody's getting chased by cops and cops are all over the map and it's just chaos? Why would they do that? Why would, why would that not be a thing? It's already a thing in heat. You get online, there's cops. What, like, what, what state is the game in that they cannot have cops at launch? So you're strictly just going online and racing. You can't do cop chases. I wonder how, how many months is it going to be before we can have cops? And they better add nighttime. They better make it like switch to nighttime and then be able to do cop races, cop chases. I, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Takeovers. I mean, they're just kind of like drift events. I don't. Why would that not be online? I don't know, man. So we're strictly just racing playlists. That's it. Progression and unlocks. Here we go. While progression is split. Between campaign and Lakeshore Online, your progress towards activities and collectibles is shared. So if you do activities in single player campaign and you have you've done like 70% of it, you go online, you can finish, you know? So no need to go collecting everything twice, but consider your options. Do you want to save some more bank in the campaign or focus on them in multiplayer? Free roam to boot your bank in multi that makes sense because you know obviously you smash some things, you get money. So it's like, do you want that? in free room or do you want that multiplayer 
Something to think about, you'll only receive the cash once, so choose carefully. Your star level completion will show up in both campaign and Lakeshore Online. Lakeshore Online has plenty of unique skill, playlist, and rank based challenges that are separate from the campaign and unlock tons of new cars for purchase. Hold on, tons of new cars. So do we have to unlock the cars in multiplayer? Hold on. I like that the online has unique skill, playlist, and rank based challenges. That means that we're getting almost like kind of like a separate game. Like, okay, you do the campaign, then you go online and we have new stuff for you to do. I like I like that. I ain't mad about it. Um, but tons of new cars for purchase. I wonder if that's just the online, like I mean, I'm cool with them like locking cars behind like certain levels and and getting your rank up and then doing like a crazy challenge i'm, I'm about that so that's, it doesn't like it takes skill to get a, a better top tier car and not everybody can just go buy it i like that I like um got a favorite ride that you can't purchase yet pin the challenge to focus on hitting your goal so you can easily track your progress at any time via in-game menu. There's also story challenges that can only be completed in the campaign, but will award you with sweet new rides directly into your Lakeshore online garage. Okay, so we're not gonna know till we get the game what's interchangeable. Completing each of the qualifiers in the grand will get you a pre-tuned legendary custom build added to your multiplayer rides, a unique driving effect tag, additionally completing the grand will unlock a new post. Completing each of the delivery missions in the single Player campaign will unlock a custom build to be purchased in the custom online dealership. 13 unique builds. So does that mean there's 13 delivery missions? So each delivery mission will unlock a custom build. I wonder if... I'm assuming these custom builds cannot be customized, but can be upgraded, like, you know, power, horsepower, speed, obviously. Um, winning specific events over the course of the campaign will award a custom build added to your MP rides. 10 unique builds. There's a lot of unique builds going on here. 23 unique builds. Um, I wonder if it's just maybe like the AI in the game, if it's there, you unlock their car. I, I don't know what that could be, man. Completing a special event will give you a unique custom build car, a unique driving effect tag, pose, and horn. Various in-game challenges that can be completed over the course of the campaign will unlock four new driving effect tags you can equip in the campaign or Lakeshore Online. Okay. In addition, all in-world collectibles and activities give various rewards as you progress that are shared between campaign and online. 14 driving effect tags, 7 driving effect samples, 14 poses, 7 underglows. That's not a lot of underglows. In Heat, we had just unlocked a ton of them. Unlock and award seven vehicles. Unlock and award one legendary custom build. Lakeshore Online is where you'll make your name. And we're just getting started. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Um, a legendary custom build. Seven vehicles. All right. So there's a lot of information here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of information. And again, I don't know. I don't think they've dropped any gameplay. I'll have to look around. If I find some, um, I will post it later. But um, yeah, there you go, guys. We got a lot of information on online. Uh, it sucks about the cops, and I feel like daytime only is kind of dooky. But it says they're going to add pink slips and all that stuff. So anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Smash like, subscribe. We're getting close, boys. We're going to do a lot of stuff on this channel, a lot of online. We're going to do a lot of – we're just going to do all kinds of stuff. I'll try to incorporate you guys into the game. Uh, we'll see how it is, how it, you know, when it launches and how we can do that exactly. I'll start posting my Discord again so you guys can hop in there. But anyway, guys, I will see you on the next one.